Hi everyone, my name is Tej and we are back with another video. We have so far checked out how to create an intent, what is a chatbot, how do we create a chatbot, what are the basic terminologies which are there on the console, this Dialogflow console basically and uh, what are the types of entities which are there and which is already there like one is custom entity another one is system entity that is wide topic in itself but for non programmer i just covered the custom entity and system entity which can be utilized and uh, you can customize definitely later on but just to have an idea i've given that in the last video you can go and check out that video if you haven't uh, so this video is about responses and what kind of responses does dialogflow already have based on uh, specific channels when I say channels, channels means it could be integrated channels like Facebook Messenger Bot, it could be Google Assistant, Slack, Viber or any other channel which it has available with Dialogpro with very easy integrational procedure. So that's what we are going to take a look on. So when we say responses and uh, you click on any intent, you come to that particular intent and you scroll down, you come to the response tab and there you will see what kind of response you want to send to that particular customer. So it could be a text, it could be a speech, it could be a media with rich responses. Let's say a card image that you can click on, you want to provide a carousal for buying your products, that also we can do. So that's the response follow part which we are going to cover here. Okay, so when we say response, how do we add it that? It's very simple, just as we have the training, uh, you click on the text responses. If it's not, you want to remove that, you can have a delete option here. If they, if there are already some uh, text responses, you can definitely go and delete that. And you want to say uh, any response which you have in your mind. Thanks for connecting. And you gotta hit save button. So once you hit the save button and the intent is saved, you can go, definitely go and check it out. So if you click on the hi, uh, intent is for now is default welcome intent and response comes as it won't help focus on your studies. I'm sorry that that's a very, uh, I was creating it for some funny things, but yeah, that's fine. We're gonna check for the book flight intent. When we get this book flight intent, do we get our expected response or not? So when we click on that, we get our user says book flight, the intent is book flight, and we get a default response saying, thanks for connecting. That's pretty awesome, right? We are getting what we wanted. And if you want to change and you want to provide multiple responses, that can, uh, can also be provided. There are uh, multiple kind of responses here for the default one we have text response and if you click on the add responses button they give you another chance uh, another type of response which is custom payload so now what what is text response which is this one and the uh, end user can be taken it as a uh, text or we can provide an mp3 file as well so that will come uh, convert our text response into speech as well and you will be able to hear that thing which you can give it a try in the google assistant we'll see how does that work but in the real time scenarios when we actually have to create a chatbot for uh, let's say a pro client then this dialogflow console is not the one we are going to use we are going to use the dialogflow as an nlp tool so we will send our rest if we have a rest request to this dialogflow which will do the intent detection and will send us some response now that response should be quite enough you know, capable of handling things and we should be able to customize that particular response and that for that purpose we have custom payload you can customize this dialog flow response irrespective of any channel when you have to use the dialog flow as an api and we will see in the later, uh, later on in the series how do we do that but for now we are going to majorly focus on the text responses because this series i'm just gonna make it for non-programmers who does not have any knowledge of coding and they just want to get started with chatbot and what chatbot is and all those things so for those people we have this thing right here so let's get to the text responses we have seen like we can provide it now there are multiple channels available if you will see this is one of my facebook messenger bot so i go to that this says apne dukan is one of the bot which i created so let's say if i if anybody comes to my facebook page i am owning a small business where i sell sweaters and somebody comes to that it's not me who is going to handle all the queries. I should have someone who can help me with my queries or the customer queries. So in that case, I created a chatbot. If anybody comes and messages me to check out my products and do any other help, or if they need any help, they can directly go to the chatbot or to my messenger Facebook page and then they can start chatting. So I say hi and let's wait for the response. How can I help? 
it gives me a response how can i help with an image that could be your uh, store image or whatever you want to provide it's a customized one welcome to apne dukan handcraft sweaters for you what are you looking for our services and then you scroll down you'll see as suggestion chips which you can directly choose from or if you want you can also type in so how is it happening how is this all thing happening how we are able to get a image and all these things with the options because a human for a human it's not feasible okay and let's go to a uh, interesting thing we go to uh, google assistant which could be in your phone you can go and try it out so this is my personal one i give it a shot let's let's try it over again okay uh, what we're going to do we're going to reset the test and we will start looking for how do we start the google assistant so this is a simulator which we have if you want to take a look in how does it it's going to look in my phone so that's how it's going to look in my phone let's get started with the test and uh, that's it it okay getting the okay, test so version of that need to call this is how it's going to look in my phone how can i help and it's asking me to start typing something on say something but since i have all these things available here i can say i want to sweaters for men so i can either type it or i can say as well but i'm going to type it when i say sweaters for men then it should give me These the option available options which i have select. configured in my dialog flow so from dialog flow i'm getting these options if you can see i'm going to scroll it up let it so you will be able to see this so these kind of options i'm getting from my chatbot apni dukan which i created in good dialog flow so that's a very interesting kind of response so these two kind of response so there are multiple kind of channel responses which are there with the dialog flow let's quickly go back to the dialog flow and see how do we do that so let's say i want to book a flight and i want to provide google assistant that channel responses so you there's a plus button you can always go to this plus button click on this one and you'll see what are the one click integration available for all the responses which you can provide through these channels we have facebook integration available for the responses dialog flow phone gateway means if we get a phone number with this associated with this dialog flow agent and you can definitely provide a uh, mp3 response if anybody calls you on this dialog flow number they will get whatever response you want to give to them then we have uh, slack responses and telegram for telegram channel ke viber skype line hangout and rcb business messaging so all these can, and obviously the google assistant these kind of responses are already there Now let's quickly take a look. How does this Google Assistant response looks? Let's go to the tab, and we have to provide simple response. Whatever you want to say, you can definitely go with that. So let me quickly show you how is it working. We will reset the test and we'll change the uh, display as well to the smart display, so that you can create for your TV or for Android devices, for any other devices as well. So that that also works. Which of whichever supports the Google? All right, uh, getting the test version of App Me Do so Con. Your device is gonna How look something help? like this. If it's a tablet or any smart display, it's gonna look something like this. And uh, I get a uh, thing shop from Apni Dukan, sweaters handcrafted. Then there is an image, and after that we have some options available. So how is that happening? So if we go to the dialog flow, there is one thing which okay, not not this one. Let me go to the apni dukan and we'll see how we are doing this. And that's coming from the welcome intent, so we'll quickly go to the welcome intent and we'll see for the Google Assistant uh, tab response. So there is my Google Assistant. If you check it out, we have. Uh, I'm using the default tab response, which should come. How can I help and all those things? So basic card I'm providing, which is having an image and then some title and other things. Web link we can also provide, and then there's suggestion chips which I'm having here. basically these suggestion chips are these suggestions which we can directly click on even if we write that also works fine so that's the suggestion chips which we have right now okay these are available so based on that we, we get the responses as well so that's how we that's how we see that and let's quickly create one of our own uh, thing for the flight assistant and we'll see how does it work okay so let's go to the default welcome intent and we are going to add a very basic image so we'll quickly go to the google assistant and uh, hi bro what's up what can i do for you that's fine but i need to add some suggestion chips so let's add suggestion chips and we're going to say a uh, book flight then we're going to say one way round trip we can also say and we save it 
Now there are two ways you can test it, but Dialogflow also provides a testing console here, so you can directly check for all the channels available. So if you'll go there, you click on the hi, it won't help us, but we need to check for the book flight. So we'll go to the book flight, we'll check for it. You scroll down in this one, you have actions on Google, what kind of response we get. Thank you for connecting, okay, show one way or round trip. So that's what we get here. Okay, so that's what we get here. Oh, we made the changes in the default welcome intent. Let's go to the book flight. We'll add one more image here. Yeah, that's already there. Okay, let's add an image as well. And this is going to be a, a, a browser card is one thing we have. So there are actually many options we can add here. We can add link out suggestions, media content, custom payload, table cards, and all those things. But let's add uh, some basic suggestion tips and a welcome kind of intent or welcome kind of image with a website link. So that you can do with the basic card. So let's go to the basic card, click on this one. Now this is gonna ask you some a few things. What is image URL? So I have an image which I'm gonna take. Since it's a booking flight, flight kind of issue. Uh, I mean template, we will use this thing. Then it's ask for accessibility flight image. That's just a accessibility text. And this is gonna be book flight. Subtitle book flight again. Enter the text as a book your flight now. Website link we can provide. I'm just gonna take any random link and gonna paste it over here. Sorry, not this one. That's a title. So we'll say go to website. That's it. We're gonna add this. Apart from that, let's add some suggestion chips as well. So we'll go to the add responses. We'll go to the suggestion chips. Uh, one more thing to notice here. If you go to the add response, once you have selected basic card, you cannot select list or carousal card or browse carousal or any other thing. You can choose suggestions now, custom payload, and then suggestion chips as well. So we're gonna add some things here. So this is gonna be our uh, one way again. We're gonna have a round trip as well. And that's it. We'll quickly save it and quickly run it over here. So if we'll go to the testing console, we will check it out here. We'll say, okay, let me uh, book the flight. If you go and check out book the flight and you click on this response, if you'll see, this is how it looks. But there's a drop down. So you click on the drop down and you get to the actions on Google. And you see, thanks for connecting. This is actually coming because we have tagged this as on use the responses from default tab first responses that's where it's coming from the thanks from connecting and then later on we are having a simple response check this out then we have a basic card and suggestion chips available basically what happens if you click on the go to website it will take you to that particular website which you have given okay and these are some basic things information which we have added and you can customize whatever you want to show here names and text whatever it is and uh, these suggestions it basically works on as a user query itself. So you can either person can type something as this way. That also works fine. This typing and clicking on suggestion chips are having the same feature, same uh, you can say phenomena. If I click on this one, this also gets taken as user says one way. Even if I type, that also it's taken gonna taken as a one way or uh, the user query. So that's the thing. That's how we add the responses now. I would like you to go and try for the others like Facebook, Dialogflow and others, you can give it a shot. Uh, so that will be your uh, kind of a challenge, you can give it a shot and if you feel any issue in that, you can direct, definitely go and comment on this one and we will try to resolve that as soon as possible. So that's it for today and uh, please go and check it out this response thing and uh, try to make it for multiple channels and that will be a great uh, exercise for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this. We'll continue with the next video. And in the next video, we're going to talk about knowledge base. What is knowledge base? Thank you so much. Bye.